What is going on you guys? Welcome to another episode. I am out at the mountain fishing farm. The weather has been really bad the last few days. It's been raining. It's super foggy out right now. I can't see anything. <coughs> Jeez, as you can hear, on top of that, I've been sick the last few days. Oh man, I sound like crap. <coughs> Either way, I've been stuck inside for too long. So today, we're going fishing. That's the best cure uh, for me when I get sick is after a few days of resting, I gotta get out. And by the way, since the last episode, I noticed the deer have been coming through here like crazy. You're not gonna believe this. That right there is a deer track. And that's about a thousand more. It looks like the deer just had a party at the farm and I wasn't invited. And we can't see the mountain right now because it's too foggy, but I counted a herd of about 18 deer that just is up there every single day. So I think they're coming down here at night and munching on my bushes. <laughs> and then as a thank you for munching on my bushes, they even left me a nice pile of deer poop. So what I'm thinking we got to do is set up a few trail cameras out here uh, around the property, just like we have at the desert compound. Uh, just kind of find out what kind of wildlife is coming through here at night. I think I told you guys in the last episode, there's mountain lions uh, and bears that live right here. So I'm sure they come down at night too. But before we can go fishing, we're gonna head to the shop and build something that we're gonna need. Cause we're not just gonna fish for trout, we're gonna try and build a trout trap for this episode on the ice, ice fishing for trout with a trap. Now that the snow has melted a bunch, it's a lot easier to get back here. Uh, I thought I'd show you guys real quick. These are the animal uh, pens that I have currently. There's running water, there's electricity. Man, the snow is still really deep back here, but we gotta make it to the well house. I haven't even been there since closing on the farm, so we just gotta take a quick peek in there, make sure everything's in good working order. And look at that, you can just barely make out the mountain back there. The fog is kind of clearing up. It'd be nice if we could just turn into a sunny day. Oh, wow. It's like. Now we're gonna climb the fence, but it is all covered in electric wire. Kids, don't try this at home. One way to find out if it's hot. I usually just use the finger. <laughs> the electric fences are currently turned off. All right, let's take a peek in the well house. <laughs> Can't even open the door. Ooh, nice and warm in here. Got a little heater running here to keep uh, all the plumbing from freezing. The whole well house is insulated. Uh, it's got a dual pressure uh, tank system. So this is one of the wells that I got out here. And then the other well is this guy right here. That there, I have no idea what that is. I think that might have been like an old school, like old, old well. But uh, that's no longer in operation. And uh, right over here, I've got a switch to uh, swap between the two wells. Just want to make sure that the heater is still running in there for when it starts uh, getting cold again. You can imagine if it froze inside the well house, those big pressure tanks would absolutely blow, all the pipes would blow. I don't even want to imagine how much of a headache that would be, so we're just gonna avoid that situation altogether. <laughs> What do we got here? We got a table with some tools, a little bit of materials, some mouse traps. Oh, and look at that, a cup of coffee. Ooh, still warm. Ah. Now, uh, this uh, design for this fish trap, I actually found it on YouTube. What I'll do is I'll leave a link in the video description below. Now, the idea behind this little mouse trap is that it will sit at the end of the board right here, and that is the trigger mechanism that will set our fishing line onto. And when it pulls, it'll set off the mouse trap, which will then, in return, release this rod right here that the line is connected to, and that'll automatically set the hook on the fish. Well, at least that's the theory. <laughs> Let's see if the trap even works. Oh my goodness. Yes, trap is good to go. Just attach that 
trap to the board. Next, we're gonna make our rod holder. Now we got this little twist tie right here and we're not gonna put it right through the eye of the rod, but right next to it in the little hole. Now the last thing we gotta do is take this little nail right here and put it right there. Oh, jeez, I forgot that this uh, thing was still, still armed. Oh man, hopefully I don't snap myself here. There we go. Oh man, this is so cool, this might actually work. All right, so we got the rod completely loaded. This loop right here that went under the bail on the mouse trap, sitting on that nail, this line right here runs over the trap mechanism. And then if I'm a fish down here, oh, there we go. Fish on, baby. So, oh man, dude, this might work. so sketchy to set up. And three, two, one. Oh, I'm just excited. All right, let's get everything loaded in the truck and get over to the ice. We're gonna need this trap right here for future videos when we're doing some survival missions out on the ice. It is raining a lot and it's definitely gotten warmer out since the last episode. So that brings up a major concern and that is what condition is the ice in? So we're gonna have to find out. Man, it is looking just nasty out here. Look at how, oh dude, there's so much just water. Oh, I hope the ice didn't just turn into, into slush. Tell you what, we gotta do a little test uh, drill here and see what this ice even looks like now. All right, here we go. Oh, I ended up in the weeds. <laughs> All right, the ice is still pretty thick, but it's definitely not uh, super solid anymore. Dang it. We're just gonna do a little extra safety precaution today. We're gonna tie up a safety rope around uh, this tree here. <laughs> Looks like a beaver <laughs> chewed on that sucker there, so hopefully it holds. There we go. Okay, got the safety rope tied to the tree. We're just gonna run that down. There we go. That way if the ice breaks, we can pull ourselves out on this baby right here. And uh, I also threw on uh, some ice picks right here. These guys have uh, a little nail in these handles that we can use if we break through. We can use those to pull ourselves out of the ice. Um, Whew, man, all right, the ice, it's really thick, guys, but we're just being overly cautious. Can't hurt to be a little safe rather than sorry. All right, we're gonna drill a hole, how about right?
around. See how thick this ice still is. Oh man, yeah, guys, it's it's literally still a foot and a half thick. Feels pretty solid. It's just a little slushy up on the top, so we're good. So all I did real quick was tie up one of these itty bitty little tungsten uh, jig heads. That's what worked really well in the last episode. We're gonna tip it with uh, a piece of a night crawler. There we go, little tiny night crawler uh, piece as a tail there. All right, here we go. I am super excited to test uh, the mouse trout trap out. <laughs> I read in the comments on the last video, a lot of you guys wanted to see uh, that survival mission where we're just gonna go backpacking across an icy lake, camp in the woods, come out on the ice to catch food. And uh, this trap here could be a crucial survival tool for that mission. So it's gonna be awesome. Make sure you guys are subscribed so that you don't miss uh, those adve uh, adventures. All right, let's do this. All right, we're on the bottom. Arm the trap. There we go. All right, our line is perfectly over that little trip. To get my face out of the way just in case it goes off so I don't get whipped. That baby is set up, ready to go. All right, we just got another pull uh, ready while that guy there is fishing. Same exact setup, a little jig like that with a worm. All right, so while we got the trap set up over there, we're just gonna lower this little guy down below. Let's see if we can't jig one up in the meanwhile. All the way to the bottom. How deep is it here? Is that about eight feet deep or something right here? Last time out here, the fish were biting in the super shallow water. Oh, there's a hit. Come on, baby. Something just tapped it. Oh, 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 good hit, good hit. Lower it back down. I think. Oh, we might have spooked it. Come on, baby. Come on back. Oh, dude. Man, I might have spooked it. No, he's back. He's back. There we go, fish on baby. Oh, he came right out. <laughs> a little little yellow perch, look at that. Wow, that's another new species out of this lake. That's five different species in a row. If you guys missed the last episode, well, I'm not gonna tell you <laughs> what I caught in the last episode, just in case you guys uh, didn't see it. I don't wanna spoil it for you, but caught four species of fish then, and here's number five. Give us that worm back, that's right. All right, we're just gonna put him right back in the hole. <laughs> and he's off. Let's get that worm right back on there. Send that baby back down. Man, something hit it a lot harder than that little guy, though. There's a bigger fish down there for sure. Perch tend to hang out in large schools. So if we're lucky, we're in a nice school of perch with maybe a big one that we can catch for dinner. Oh. Oh, there he is, there he is. We got another one, got another one biting. Whew. Felt good, felt really good. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh, there he is, there he is. Oh, fish on. There we go, better fish, better fish. Oh, what is this? Oh my, no, no, that, unbelievable, that's a, a six species in a row now. Six fish species caught in a row. What is this guy? It's a little like a, ah, oh, is it a, I don't think it's a pumpkin seed sunfish. It's a, it's in the sunfish family. Are you a green sunfish? No, you're not a green sunfish either. Man, he's absolutely gorgeous. Say goodbye to the little guy. Thank you for biting. Let's get you right back in the hole. <laughs> you gotta go down the hole. He's just like kind of hanging out in the hole as if he's like, all right, little guy, come on. <laughs> find your way down, find your way down. All right, off that little guy goes. He just needed a little bit of help finding his way down the hole. 
The problem is it's such a like long hole that they need to like realize, oh, I'm going down versus just swimming away sideways. See that we oh we had one for a second dang that was awesome so with the mouse trap going off it was also really loud so i could hear it right away that was exciting so it works now we just gotta hope that it hooks up next time maybe it was like a small one or something there we go the trap is set again Got a fresh little worm. In the hole she goes. There we go. The trap is set again. Man, we know the trap works, but I really, really still want to catch one. <laughs> want to catch one on it, dang it. Oh man, now it's raining. What? is this weather come on baby let's just get one little fish here at least an hour with just nothing going on. Oh, there's a bite. Come on. Come on. Let the fish on. There we go. Fish on, baby. Brown trout, baby, brown trout on the fish trap. Brown trout on the fish trap. Man, that little guy just absolutely inhaled it. Uh, we're not gonna keep this guy. This is not a catch and cook adventure. This was just uh, trying out the trap, but we'll be out here very soon where we're gonna cook him up. Let's get him right back in the hole. Thank you, baby. There we go. Ooh, swim down. There we go. The fish trap is a success. We got one. We got one. I think uh, there's a couple things I want to do. I'm going to modify it just a little bit so it goes off a little easier because I know that we missed some bites uh, over there at the hole earlier. And I'll do that before uh, we go on the survival mission. We're going to be fishing for sustenance, for food out there. Glad that the ice was pretty thick. So we definitely uh, did not need our uh, rescue line here. This baby was a little overkill, but you know what? Rather safe than sorry. Look at the sunset, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's the first time actually I've seen uh, any blue sky in probably over a week. The weather's just been, it's been something here, guys. It's been something. All right. Wow, what a beautiful evening. Uh, I'm absolutely freezing. I got completely soaked out there, man, in that rain. Uh, but, so I'm just gonna warm up a little bit. And that's all I got for you guys in this episode. This was just a shorter one. Just wanna get out on the ice with you and uh, test out that fish trap, which that was a huge success. We're gonna tweak it a little bit, get her ready for the survival mission. So make sure that you guys are subscribed uh, for those ones. Drop a like on the video, it helps a ton. And I'll see you guys in the comment section. <laughs> and uh, all right, oh geez, I accidentally honked the horn. <laughs> that's all I got for you guys. Love you and uh, see you guys for the next fishing adventure. And until then, you all know it, fish on baby. <laughs> Look at that, just on my way home and it's a bunch of deer. Chilling a beautiful, uh, oh wow, gorgeous buck. Look at him. My goodness, he's hanging out with his girlfriends. There they go. <laughs> What's 
Let's go ahead and see if the trap even works. Let's go ahead and see if the trap even works. <laughs> Let's see if the trap even works.